It was through parenting that my own issues rose to the surface. I had such deep pain from not having had my own mother in my life. My mother's own struggles with alcohol and drug addiction left her incapable of meeting my emotional needs. As I progressed through my adult years, I thought I was okay, but it was in having children that my own void became apparent. My cracks had caused me to then become an overly protective, overly harsh parent. Though I couldn't identify it immediately, I knew something was off in me. I asked God to show me what the issue was, and surely he took me right back to my childhood, exposing the fractured little me. As I cried and prayed, his love flooded those areas and mended my broken places. For me, it was not a quick process. I prayed for my children to be covered as I was being healed. Gradually, I'm working through my own issues so that I can parent my children based on who they are and what, me need, and what they need and not out of my own brokenness. Not every day is a perfect day, but I feel I'm headed in the right direction. So let me encourage you to embrace all of your experiences, the good, the bad, the ugly, as they are directly impacting the person who you are today. Do not begrudge any part of your story. Did you grow up in a single parent household? Did you grow up wearing hand-me-downs? Did you grow up feeling like you were the ugly duckling? Is your story that you didn't have those kind of hard times, but lived the good life, but still question your story because you feel it's boring? Whatever your story, embrace it. And not only embrace it, but share it with the children in your life. You've been commanded in Psalm 78 to tell your story. Your story is more fascinating than anything your children could ever watch on TV. Amen. Your story directly shows children God's love and God's grace in action. So how about you? As a parent, do you ever feel weak or incapable? If the answer is yes, then guess what? You're in good company. <laughs> but that's just like God. He used Moses, doubting Moses, unqualified Moses, fearful Moses. Moses who was fearful and ran from his staff when it turned into a snake. But God told him to pick up that very thing to use as a sign. That same thing that Moses ran from was the very instrument that would hit a rock and bring water to nourish the people. It was the same instrument that would part the water so they could cross on dry land. God was purposeful and intentional in sending all the young people into your life. And just as God used Moses' weakness, God wants to use yours too. Your weaknesses in parenting aren't flaws that need to be magnified, but are opportunities for God's grace to be glorified. Amen. 